G'day, I'm Dr. Peter Price of Classroom Professor. Welcome to this video which is on the topic of adding nice numbers. Now I realize that nice isn't a very sophisticated adjective and English teachers are frowning at me right now. So, But it's a good word for what we're talking about here which is to look for numbers which are simple to add because of their characteristics and because how they, they go together. So we think the word nice is, is okay in this context. So here are some examples from the worksheets. Uh, looking at the first one, 6 plus 2 plus 9 plus 8 plus 4. In a sort of um, standard way of computing a list of numbers and adding them together, we would normally start from the left and work forwards making sure we didn't miss any out and get to the end. But this is going to be difficult because we've got 6 and 2, that's an easy number. In fact, 8 plus 9 is 17, then there's another 8. We could do it that way, but you can see that there are some numbers there that make this a lot easier if we join them together. So for example, 6 plus 4 is one of the rainbow facts because it adds to 10. So there's 10 straight away. And then we've got a 2 and an 8, and that's another rainbow pair. So there's another 10. And so students should be able to see straight away that's 29. So that makes it a lot easier. Looking at the second example, this time it's in tens. So clearly we're looking to see if we can make a hundred. And of course we can. There's a couple of choices here. We've got a 60. I would normally start with the biggest number and see what else there is. So obviously I'm looking for 40. There's a 40 there, but there's also two 20s that would make 40. So I could link the first three terms and so there's 100 plus 40 plus 30, that's clearly going to be 170. Notice that in this strategy, this mental strategy, we're not teaching a particular method. We're not teaching an algorithm. We're not even saying, you know, you must look for rainbow facts or, you know, any other such thing. If they're there, we'll use them. But what we want is for students to think for themselves. So we're aiming for them to develop as independent thinkers, independent learners, solvers of problems. And so we're not trying to be, you know, continually supporting them, but asking them to step out on their own. And some fairly straightforward questions. None of these are terribly difficult. And the third example. Now, here we have a pair of rainbow facts at the end. We could say, OK, there's six and four, but then there's a lot of other. If they're not nice numbers, they're probably messy numbers that we would find harder to add. But if we've got six fours, we could put all those together because that's a multiplication number fact, six fours are 24. And we've got a four and a two, which is another six. So that's five sixes, which is 30. So there's a number of different approaches. So that's all we have this week. I hope you've enjoyed the video and I'll talk to you next time.